In this quick video, I'm going to talk about what you can do in preparation before the shoot to get more from your headshot session. So the first thing is to sleep well the night before the shoot. Don't stay up too late and don't get up too early. You should look and feel well rested, almost as if you were going to an audition. The second thing in prep for your shoot is to think about outfit choices really carefully. Consider the type of roles that you're typically going to get seen for, but also what you'd like to be able to do in the future. That way we can use the outfits to be able to fit into the looks that we'd like to create. You should wear items that you feel and look good in. I typically advise my clients to bring quite a few options, between 5 and 10 is a good number. And that might sound like a lot, but it's just so that we have quite a lot of choice to be able to pick from, so that we can narrow down exactly what we'd like during the shoot. I always find it's better to have too many choices to pick from and be able to narrow down what we'd like to be able to use, rather than just be lumbered with a few bad options. I don't have a set of colours that I typically recommend as different options can work really well for different people. Some patterns like a checkered shirt can work really well, but just try to avoid too many colours or lines in one item. Avoid choosing different items that all look the same. A black t-shirt is going to look very similar to a black polo top. What will typically work quite well is differences in colour, but also texture and neckline. So hair and makeup, and this is a big one. I always think with hair, you should typically style it yourself, only because if you're going to an audition, the chances are that you're going to be the one that's styling it in the morning. And we want to make sure that you and your headshot looks the same as you in person when you walk into the door of an audition. Makeup, however, can be a little different. Usually, I advise if you wear makeup, then do it just as normal, just with one small addition. After foundation, use a matte finishing powder. It's not very expensive, but it will make a big difference to your headshots. All this will do is just give us a nice even skin tone that makes it much easier to be able to work with lighting. It also tends to represent what we see in real life a lot more than what we would do photographically. For guys, I would typically just recommend, unless you normally wear makeup, then don't wear it. If you've got any little spots or blemishes, don't try and cover them up too much. It's always easier to be able to remove or reduce those afterwards than it is to be able to cover them up in the first place. And finally, if there's just one thing that you do in preparation before the shoot, it would be to have a really thorough think about what you want to be able to get from your new headshots. If you come in with a plan, the likelihood is that we're going to get much better results than if we come in and just wing it. But having a think before the shoot about all these things will be able to help to be able to lay everything into place. If you've got any questions, wanting to be able to view more of my portfolio or book a headshot session, then get in touch. It would be great to work with you.